gonna be doing a hat wrap. And we're gonna be doing a little simple um, materials. I have a one by six inch by six foot board. I got from Home Depot. And I have, a, it's called an angle aluminum. And that's half an inch by 1 inch by 36 inches long. So I'm going to use this as an accent to give him that industrial look. And then I got the hooks. The hooks. I really love the hooks. The hooks. Mm, mm. Did I say the hooks? The hooks, you just, it's going to, they open and they close. So when he's not using his hat rack and he wants to close them, he can. I thought that was really neat and it's going to give him that industrial look and I'm going to give him a gorgeous thing. And we're going to have fun doing this one because this is going to be really quick. It should be up in no time. Okay guys, here we go. I'm measuring out my board and it was simple. I, I decided I'm going to do 46 inches because I felt like that was a good length uh, to go over the closet doors. And so, you know, we, I'm just trying to keep this all simple. Try to just, you know, give me one cut. I'm just going to smooth out the edges of that board. Nothing too complicated. I mean, hey, didn't I say I was going to have fun doing this? And I said it was going to be quick, and that's what I meant. I wanted this to be quick, fun, and easy. Now, right here, I'm just measuring out that aluminum angle that I talked about earlier. And so I'm trying to get that, because that's a short piece, and I'm going to have to cut that. Because I was trying to decide, can I cut it with some clippers or what? But no. I said, I'm going to go ahead and cut it with the saw. And... And I'm like nervous about it. And I'm gonna do a test right here. And I did it and I was like, okay. It didn't look like it messed up my blade. So I really wish my husband was here this time because I need to ask him a question about that. But I was like, hmm, let's go for it. And I did. So I cut off both of them. And they turned out a perfect length. So that was good. But only thing about that, that metal was flying. So I'm just gonna clean up the edges, smooth them out a little bit with some sandpaper. I got some rough sandpaper I found in my little cabinet. So I was just, you know, sanding the edges up where that blade had hit them. I feel like I'm sanding this to death, but I'm not. But uh, it really, de it doesn't take that much. Then after this, I'm going to get um, that stain on there. Oh, my goodness. I, I like staining now. And I don't figure out I really enjoy it. So stain make wood look so good. And uh, I love that dark stain. And um, I don't know what the name of that color is, but I will look it up. And... Right here, I already pre-drilled all my holes in the wood. So all I'm doing is I'm just screwing them in. And I go back and forth between my drill and the screwdriver. Because where the hook open and closed, that bottom one, I can't get my drill in there. So I just use my screwdriver to do that. But yeah, I really enjoyed making this hat rack and it was super fun. And two, right, you see where I'm using that L shape? Don't ask me what that is. I, I don't even know what it is. All I know, it looked like it's something I could use. So, and I could, and I kept the length, the width from the top to the bottom even. So when I spaced them out, because I spaced them out, I think I spaced them out like eight inches, six inches apart. And oh yeah, and right here, I'm just getting ready to put it on the wall. And I'm tapping them because I'm trying to make a mark just in case it slipped and I know where to place it. And I just screwed it in and it turned out 
pretty good, y'all. I really like it. I'm like, that was simple. It was three products. Think about it. The wood, my hooks I bought, and the trim. And then I had the stain um, already at the house. So yeah, it turned out awesome. And you know, if you wanna see more like this, just come and hang out with me and see what I'm up to. And just hit the like button, give me a like, and subscribe and get hit that notification button too. And I will see you next time. Enjoy. Bye.